Traditionally, we get some of the best sound at any audio show from classic audio loudspeakers, atmosphere music systems, purest audio design cables, and triplanar tone arms. Let's go take a look and a listen. We have a triplanar set up here. Purist has their literature over here. Oh, wow, look at the system this year. Look at the size of the speakers. I'd like to invite John Wolf from Classic Audio to tell us about this loudspeaker. This is the, the brand new T1.5. Correct. It's uh, brand new for this show. Uh, got a 2015 designation on it, and uh, what we've done is we've added a 18-inch uh, field coil woofer to the bottom in place of the uh, previous 15-inch Nico woofer that was uh, there. And uh, we've also cleaned up the cabinet a little, put the uh, curved top on it to match the uh, curvature of the horn. We've added an extra set of binding posts on the back for uh, yeah, dual take a power look at supply hookup. And we've now, we're now finishing the back of the cabinet uh, with the same veneer as the uh, rest of the cabinet. Yeah, you didn't have that before in the back. Correct. Correct, yeah. Now field coil, the big one down below, is driven off of 12 to 20 volts DC. Correct, and you've got the option now if you want to run your, like say your mid-range driver at one voltage and your woofers at another voltage, we can hook them up separately here uh, with another set of wires off, off an another supply. Off of another supply, mm -hmm. or in this case this supply has dual outputs on it. Right here we go, let's look at the supply here. This is a professional grade power supply. And that ships with the loudspeaker, am I correct? Correct. Well, on the first day of the show, which was yesterday, we sat and did a little bit of listening, and I was stunned by the realism and the low frequencies. Yeah, we all believe we've, that we've had this room for, I don't know, like seven out of ten years, and uh, we've, we've all got a consensus that this is the best we've ever had this room sounding. Well, we're listening in just a minute, and the viewers can listen and enjoy it as well. Thank you very much, John. Thanks for coming to Denver. Yep. I'd like to invite Ralph Karsten up to tell us about the beautiful electronics we have here. These, if I'm not mistaken, are the reissues, aren't they? Actually, this is an updated set. John has owned Novacrons for years, mm -hmm. many years. And, uh, but we uh, support all our older products. And um, the, uh, the, we, are you aware that we have an update and warranty reactivation program? No, no, tell us about okay, it. Okay, well, uh, this is an older amplifier. We updated it to latest version mm -hmm. and uh, reactivated the warranty as if it's a new amp. Uh, John had some custom stuff done on this. For example, it's using a different power tube than we normally use on the Novacron. But um, the warranty reactivation stuff applies to any product that we've made. How so, cool is that? So you send something in for... A repair or yeah. an upgrade, or you've, uh, yeah. you 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 want to give it something a little a, di a different try. Uh, yeah, you know, um, people are always dealing with the fact that the uh, product is changing and improving over the years. And what do you do with the old one? Well, in our case, you can send the old one in, and um, we renovate it, go through everything, make sure the power supplies are going to hold up and stuff like that, because we've got to warranty it, and it gets the full warranty just like any new product does and it'll meet the same specifications so that's that's been a policy of ours for boy I'm gonna say about 12 years Gosh, something really. like that mm. so you know keeps the stuff out of the waste stream that's for sure <laughs> and, um, well you do beautiful work and I urge everyone to get on your website and you have some videos posted on your website too of the, of the manufacturing process. Yeah, there's actually yeah. some assembly of the Yeah, it's kind of cool. In the case of the Novacron here, we built this amplifier uh, back in the early 90s. In fact, we were the first manufacturer to use the uh, 6C33 uh, Russian power triode. And um, after a while we were discontinued it uh, because we were concerned about the socket quality that we could get and also the availability of the tubes. It turned out that 
the aftermarket provided better sockets and uh, the tubes have been constantly available. Meanwhile, while this was out of production, um, uh, they, uh, people were getting into bidding wars over these amps on eBay and they were selling for more than we had sold them for. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had people going, when are you going to make a Mark II or Mark III version of the Nova Crowd? And so we finally did it and started uh, shipping them last year. So, uh, and John's been bringing his personal sets to shows for years at this point, so we figured we'd better bring him up to speed. Good. So that's that's what's going on with the Novacron. Great. Well, thank you very much. Sure. Ralph from Atmosphere. Thank you. Great. I've invited Jim Odd from Purist Audio Designs to come on over and tell us about what you have here at the show this year. Well, at this show, of course, we came out with the Luminous series in May at Germany. But for this show, we've introduced a new series called the Poseidon. Poseidon is a fluid-based cable. All the other cables that we did in, of course, in May were the Ferox based. Okay. And of course, the fluid-based cable, a lot of the customers love it because it has this phenomenal 3D imagery in the mid-range. So at this show, it's being introduced and we have it in several rooms here. Oh, that's great. I have a, uh, it must be a 20-year-old, a uh, very long run of, uh, of Aqueous, and uh, yes. it still sounds wonderful. Yeah, yep. Aqueous was the first cable we produced in 1986. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. And a lot of customers still love it, but the Poseidon is like phenomenal cable, all new technology, you know, with our new cape, new connectors, of course, you know, we're talking brilliant copper, silver plate, gold plate, and then, you know, the speaker spades, you know, user changeable banana or spade, so, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal cable, but, you know, like I say, uh, it's, it's available now, and uh, a lot of the customers who really want that particular type of sound, you know, it's here, it's Good. now. Good. Well, thank you very much, Jim. Th from thank you. Good. Have a great show. Congrats on the rollout of the new product. Thank you very much. Okay, great. And rounding out the room, we have Tree Mai from Triplanar Tone Arms. Tree, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for showing the public uh, all different possibility uh, in high-end audio. And uh, um, currently at the shows, and many shows, we are using the 12 inches more, 12 inches tone arm more. And the 12 inches tone arm have uh, a carbon coaxial damp one, and um, that's a major feature of the, the 12 inches as well as the uh, um, 10 inches uh, U2 SE. And um, the 12 inches have different offset angle. Instead of 22 degrees, it's 17 degree because it's a longer one length. And also, uh, the 12 inches is wired exclusively with pure silver wire, and uh, that's a standard. Great. For a customer that prefer copper wire, we can always do that. We offer them standard, but if they like to deviate from the standard to satisfy their need, we are gladly to uh, work with them and, and uh, provide the best product for their needs. And hopefully our products will fulfill them with many years of musical enjoyment. And uh, I, we, we, we hope that uh, they will own our product for many years. So the return in the investment for everyday use is pennies. Yeah, that's a great way of looking at it because uh, while the cost uh, of entry is, you know, you have to uh, absorb that, uh, you amortize it over the years of your pleasure. Yes. That's it. Thank well, thank you very much, Tree from uh, Tri Planner. Thank you very much for coming and show the public what uh, High End is all about visually. Good. Thanks, Tree. Well, have a good afternoon. Okay, thank you. We'll do some listening next. Thanks. Thank you. In the still of the night, I held you, <laughs> held you tight. Cause I love, love you so Promise I'll never let you go In the still of the night I remember 
that night in May, the stars were bright above. I hope and I pray to keep your precious love. out to everyone who exhibits in this room. Uh, if you want your system to be believable, these guys are the one of the first guys to call. Lynn Stanley singing. <laughs> <laughs> 